Welcome to Collectors of the Coast. I'm Cash. Um, we got a really interesting uh, opening to do today. Um, we're going to open actually a few on, on camera. We're going to open up a few packs of Double Masters for one of our patrons. Uh, and uh, I'm going to go through. I actually opened a box, uh, kind of started opening it uh, the other day on a whim. And uh, and I just, it was an amazing box. So I want to kind of share uh, how it went with you guys. Uh, it's pretty fun. We'll start with the live packs. Uh, this is for one of our patrons, Tiago. Uh, I got uh, three packs for him out of this box. So we're going to uh, get right into it. And uh, good luck. Uh, I'll kind of pull a few different packs from here. Uh, he just wanted three packs. I don't know, maybe we grabbed good ones, maybe we didn't. Um, interesting enough, we uh, we talked about doing some from the last box, and uh, uh, the, the, the box we figured was was bereft of good cards, and then we still pulled amazing stuff, because uh, the box was so good. So that'll be coming up. Uh, so kind of a, just a so-so start. Uh, we got a Ob Nicholas Unshackled and Bortusk Liege. This is pack number one for him. Uh, Eternal Witness, though, is nice. Actually holding some value, um, probably the Maybe the best of the uncommons in that. Ooh, a mentor of the meek, very nice as an uncommon as well. So I actually did pull a couple of nice cards in this um, to uh, to go in your oh, and a shadowborn apostle. So that's worth a couple bucks too. So oh, and a coiling oracle. That's not really actually holding any value this coiling oracle, but you have to imagine it's actually going to rebound a little bit up to maybe a dollar or so. Um, I think they're you think you get for about a quarter or fifty cents right now. Um, but I do think it's going to go back up. It is a good card uh, that's been reprinted. So we're going to go pack two here. Uh, of course, we got our Spires. Ooh, you got a Foil pull from tomorrow. So not bad. Got a, at least a three rare pack. Uh, draw X cards and then discard a card at instant speed. Really nice card. Uh, okay. Smothering Tie. There you go. So you made your, you made your money right there, buddy. Uh, pretty good. So this is going to pretty much cover the cost of your packs. Ooh, and a Phyrexian Altar. So really nice couple rares in the pack. Didn't the mythic? Oh, cold stare hard. Okay, so we're hitting some good good cards uh, in those slots. Uh, Terminate's not bad as well. Ooh, spell pierce in the alt art as well. Uh, so you're hitting pretty solid here. So that's uh, that was a real nice pack, man. Phyrexian altar and smothering tide in the same pack uh, as a couple of rares. Didn't hit a mythic, but who needs a mythic when you get uncommon when you get uh, rares like those? So all right, so didn't hit a three rare pack in this one. But what did we get? Ooh, Grave Crawler, another nice rare. And can you hit a mythic? Nope. But man, three nice rares uh, in the three packs. Uh, pretty solid stuff. So uh, should be, I think, pretty happy with that. Um, not a home run, but uh, really solid. Uh, Flicker Wisp holding the buck or two. Ooh, Blood Artist, another nice uncommon. So I uh, pulled some good stuff. So um, I want to talk to you guys about this other box that I opened. So we'll go through it kind of. Uh, quickly here or relatively quickly so uh, congratulations uh, Tiago that's some pretty nice cards so I think dare I say you're gonna be happy with that but I never know so there's a little bit of there's a little bit of greed and Tiago he likes the he wants you know the thousand dollar card so you never know <laughs> it's one of those things so um, I actually opened up a single just quick I opened up a single Modern Horizons pack two pack the other day uh, did pretty well here. Got myself a Verdant Catacomb. So, all right. So I'm going to talk about this box. So I was on a kind of a whim uh, the other night, uh, and I got into opening uh, some of the some, a box. I actually just started opening up one or two packs, uh, and uh, I opened up one pack. It wasn't very good. Uh, pack two though, uh, I started hitting big, and uh, so you know you kind of go in these boxes, and you you go to some point and you say, these are just the uncommons. Um, and you go to, uh, you get to a point and you go, geez, am I going to hit anymore? Should I stop opening? Um, and I, I kind of did a couple times I stopped, uh, and then I ended up kept going and I just kept hitting and hitting and hitting. So I wanted to share this with you guys. I uh, love that foil conclave mentor. Anyway, uh, so yeah, I'm going to share this with you guys. Uh, nothing too crazy here, but, uh, some nice uncommons commons there. So I hit. A few new, unique things, um, and uh, you can really see how these boxes can blow up in value. So, you know, you get cards like Eternal Witness, that's uh, two or three bucks. Uh, the Oracle's not bad. This is my full art cards here. Flickering Wisp, actually, in the foil is holding a few dollars uh, price. Spell Pierce is nice. Unearth, of course, in the foil. Another Flicker Wisp. Uh, Rampant Growth is a buck or two. Young Pyromancer is really nice. Monastery Swisper has a common actually in the full art is actually holding a couple bucks. So, um, and I got four of the lands, uh, one in the foil. So, um, really sought after these lands. I think they're going to age actually pretty well. 
um, unless they reprint them again right away and something else. So um, I think this uh, in particular, I really like the gruel turf. Um, I just think the art's pretty wild on it. Uh, really cool with the vines and there's lots to look at in there. So really like that. So, uh, okay. So I'm going to get into some of the, the hot stuff that I hit. Um, maybe just one at a time. So uh, lots of rares. Let me go into kind of the bulk rares here. So, okay, here we go. Bear with me one second. So uh, a couple things I liked about this and I'll, I'll kind of go through it from, from kind of mediocre to uh, great. I hit five lieges and I know lieges, none of them are big money at this point. They once were. Um, until they reprinted them, but I did hit five lieges, and I'm actually pretty happy about that. So uh, they're just playable in lots of decks. So uh, you know, you, you kind of I think there's been a weird appreciation in these sets, in that you know we get a little spoiled. We start looking at okay, oh I need the fifty dollar card, I need the seventy five dollar card instead of just good cards that we want to play. Uh, and you know everyone says oh we want these cards to come down in value, but then you know when they come down in value, everyone complains that they don't get box value. So uh, it, it's kind of a no win. Uh, when they when they overprint these things, um, and of course these lieges, I don't know what they're worth now. I think they're about one to three dollars, depending on the liege. Uh, but some nice, really nice cards. Uh, the Merc Fiend liege is really good, um, so I'm pretty happy to to hit these. Um, I don't even know what the best one is, uh, but they're they're all pretty nice. So, uh, got five lieges in the box. I uh, hit actually above average in the full art, uh, full art uh, uncommon lands as well. Um, interestingly enough, this uh, this Skullbriar. The uh, foil is kind of dark and kind of weird on it, so I don't know if this is normal how it's supposed to be or not, but it almost seems like a different kind of printing than some of the other ones. So I'll just go through the rares quickly. These are kind of the somewhat unremarkable rares, but you know, some of these cards, five bucks, right? A Tark's Command's pretty nice card. A lot of options uh, for for two mana, uh, and you, you're getting two of these things, so it's 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 pretty nice um land the yeah, land acceleration deal and damage to people creature get plus one one uh restoration angel really nice might have undervalued this in here actually making an angel deck right now let me just put that to the side uh grim flare aisha another Skullbriar, rurik thar i actually just bought one of these before this before they were you know they announced a reprint uh Micaeus, really nice uh really nice counter card okay uh Zer the enchanter pretty nice uh, rare as well Rish cards good. Like there's just so many playables. So even you know, I just made a deck with Atlo, which is a really good commander deck. Uh, he's really solid. He's a pain in the ass to deal with when you uh, you get a couple eggs out there. Uh, Disable the ring hostage taker. All right, so I'm gonna get into the really uh, the bigger stuff now, uh, and uh, we'll kind of go slowly through it. So it was just honestly, it was just amazing. I, and and I kept going with this. Uh, I was having really fun. I told everyone I'd put pictures up and stuff. So this is my this is my picture. So uh, glimpse the unthinkable. Uh, just apparently uh, gonna be legal in historic online. Uh, so pretty good stuff uh, as, a, as a card. I think it's down to like six bucks. Was like twenty, I think, at one point, fifteen, twenty bucks. Now down to about five with the reprint. Uh, Culligan's Command, uh, another nice uh, rare. Uh, we got myself a Chaos Warp, which is a five or six dollar card right now. Was over ten, uh, so really nice. Okay, into the into the bigger hitters. So. Well, I don't know if I'm going to do this in the right order. Uh, I'll go one at a time. So uh, one of the first, or one of the mythics I hit was Nicole Bolas. Uh, he is he's only a, a couple dollars right now. Um, was at one time real big card, uh, but at the moment not uh, not super costly. So with the reprints and stuff, so uh, was nice. Uh, nice one of my nice mythics. I got another mythic here, which is not a big one right now either. Was kind of holding more with dollars, but with the reprint, uh, but just a great card. Uh, if you're just looking dollars and cents wise, though, he's not huge. So, Azuri. All right, so I'm going to get into some of the rares that were pretty good. So, I got myself a City of Brass in this box. So, I think I got about $800 uh, at current market price in this box. So, City of Brass, about $20 uh, in Canada. Uh, Teferi's Protection, again, about another $20 card. I, I got a handful of cards here, guys. These are, I'm, I'm going up in value. So, um, maybe not exactly. I didn't price them all. Uh, but you're kind of getting the idea. So hit super big. So just in my rares, I already hit. Got either vial. Absolutely unbelievable to hit three of these in a, in in the box. So um, just my rares alone. I still got other rares to go. Um, what else? What do I want to do next here for you guys? All right, I got. Oh, okay, these ones weren't too big. Uh, once once upon a time, uh, hydroid crosses. I'm paying eighteen dollars for one of these. So uh, down to about five or six, I think, at this point. Uh, but still, really nice rare. Uh, and Thousand Year Storm uh, was again about was up there. Uh, the alt art still worth to hold good money. Uh, crazy card in the right deck. So 
Uh, and then Backdraft Hellkite, which I think is still holding a good amount of money. Let you flash back cards from your graveyard. It's pretty darn good. So, all right. So into the bigger stuff now. Uh, what's my next one up the list? I don't even know. So I got a full art Coligan's Command rare wild art on that thing. Just absolutely wild art. So um, this set is just, it, it's just great. I, I think it's going to be, like next year there'll be something big. Force of Negation in my rare slot as well. So if you look at just my rares, oh my, look at the, the craziness. Like Force of Negation, Culligan's Command, Aether Vile, Teferi's Protection, City of Brass, just unbelievable rares. You know, well over, well over $150 just in the rares. So getting into the, I got seven uh, mythics that I thought were all pretty good. So Concercated Sphinx might be the least one. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. So Concercated Sphinx. Uh, which one's next? I don't know. Maybe uh, Dragon Lord Dramoka in full art. Flying Lifelink. Your opponent can't spell spells during your turn. Really good card. Can't be countered. Really nice card. Okay, we're getting into the big stuff. Uh, I don't know what's next. Maybe Bitter Blossom nowadays. Is it considered that would be my fifth best card? Fifth best, Bitter Blossom. You know, $40, whatever it goes at now. Was up to $50, I think, at one point. A uh, really nice playable card. Beautiful art. So, all right. So, um, anyways, Double Masters is... I, I've had some some rough boxes, but, I mean, overall, what a set. I mean, this is going to age so well. Uh, seasoned Pyromancer. I think this foil is is now at about I think it's seventy dollars or something like that. Uh, really nice aggressive card, uh, mono red, crazy card. So, uh, really nice card. Uh, all right, uh, I don't know which one to put next. I guess the third probably in value is probably Ren in six. So when you open a draft box where you paid you know three fifty four hundred dollars for it, maybe four hundred dollars Canadian, uh, maybe three hundred American for it. And your third best card is Ren and Six. You know you got a hot box. So, unbelievable. Crazy card. Amazing Planeswalker. Uh, just, uh, yeah. yeah. This was about in the middle of the box, too. I was almost stopping at this point. And then I was like, ah, one more pack. And then, of course, I pulled Ren and Six. It's crazy. So, all right. Uh, I don't know which one's worth more now, actually. Uh, so, I'm going to go this one because uh, it excites me a little less than the other one, though it is a very good card. So, I got an Imperial Seal. Uh, really nice. Great tutor. I know it's uh, it's kind of the hot, probably the sought after card of the set. So really nice. So there's a couple cards I'm looking for that I haven't actually hit yet. And the last one, Cavern of Souls, full art, foil. This was like the second pack of the box that I opened. Knew I got a start with a hot box. I, I figured at this point I was almost on, you know, I was almost on made money from this card on. So uh, unbelievable. So uh, just amazing stuff. And I, you know, it's uh, you know sometimes we go through all these openings and stuff. We open up a lot of trash. And I mean, this box, I just got so many cards that I can put in decks right now and play. Um, I own a couple Cavern of Seal Souls already. I'm a little spoiled on the Cavern of Souls. I got the um, I got an ultimate box topper of it, which. Uh, for my money, is actually the nicer version, uh, but this one's pretty nice too. And uh, you know, I'm feeling spoiled now. I got a couple of Rendon Sixes in my collection, uh, and uh, actually, I actually got a couple of Imperial Seals too. So I might have to sell one off. So, uh, anyways, I hope everyone enjoyed uh, seeing this. Uh, just madness in this set uh, if you hit the hit the right box. So, I'm still looking for a couple cards. Still looking for Crucible of Worlds full art. Uh, might open some more packs. See if I can hit that. Uh, still looking for uh, uh, what do you call it? The uh, Still looking for a couple other cards anyways uh, that I haven't hit. Actually, I haven't hurt the, uh, the Planeswalker yet. Uh, I haven't hit her, uh, and I'm still really looking for her, and uh, yeah, a couple other cards as well. So uh, anyways, I hope everyone did enjoy this. Uh, it was it was super fun uh, to open just as a tired person who weak weakened and, and got into a box, uh, and I, I think I made money off it. So hope everyone enjoyed the video. Everyone have a magical day. Congrats, Tiago.